Pretend we pretend like we like each other. <laughs> Adventures, we're talking Disney World planning um, for off property tips. So, we are planning a trip to Walt Disney World. Technically, we're planning two this year, but we're talking yes. about the one in March. <laughs> yes, we're talking about our first one coming up here in March. We are staying off property. <gasps> I know. How can I we know. do that, you say? I know. It's a, this kind of a thing. Yeah. It was. I need to make it as cheap as possible to convince David that we can do this. So I challenged myself to make it as cheap as possible. I'm going to tell you how I did it. We paid. Not easily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it still ended up being. It's still going to end up being probably about $1,300 for these couple of days. Honestly. For the three of us. Mm -hmm. Which. Um. Thirteen hundred for a couple days in Walt Disney World. That's not bad. So <laughs> we are okay. So the first thing is hotel off property. I went on to Expedia.com um, because I am a travel agent now and found us a pretty great rate at the Howard Johnson in Orlando. It's right near Walt Disney World, and um, yeah, I think I got it for about thirty bucks a night ish. Somewhere around That's there. That's the second hotel we're going to be staying at, right? Right. So, and then I went to Frontier because they were the cheapest airline tickets I could find and bought us airline tickets from through Frontier. And then Frontier went and had to change our flights. So now we are flying out Saturday night to Denver, staying overnight in Denver. So that's adding an extra 70 bucks for the hotel in Denver. And then, um, we're finally going to get to the Walt Disney World Orlando area on Sunday in a couple of weeks. And um, our plan is, twice. yeah, our plan is to check into the hotel when we get there, which is early afternoon. And then we are going to go to um, the Vineland Character Outlet. I'm so excited. Warehouse. I'm, I've only been once. It was right after they reopened. I was so excited to go. Which is where I got my Nightmare Before Christmas hat, which I love. Yeah. And I'm going to be so, bringing in on this trip. There's probably going to be some shopping there. Mm -hmm. And then um, we are going to go to Disney Springs for a little bit. And maybe check out a few things there. M&M store. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to the hotel. Take a nap. <laughs> and go to bed. Because it's going to be bedtime. And we're probably going to be tired because our flight's early. Um, anyway. 5 a.m. No, 7. I thought it was 5 a.m. Well, that's the time we have to be there to check in and all that and get through security and all, all that right. stuff. Um, and then we're going to get up on Monday morning and head to Epcot. Epcot which opens at 11 a.m. and closes at... 11 p.m. They have extended hours and we're going to be there. I'm so excited. I'm going to get to see it all at night. Lit up. I didn't get to see it before because it wasn't, the sun wasn't yet starting to go down when we were there last year. It's going to be late. I'm going to get to see the ball all lit up instead of from far away, like up in person. Anytime, up close and personal. Anytime Walt Disney World gets brought up, she talks about hours. I'm every so single excited. time. I'm going to have extended hours when I'm there. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they'll be opening up Ratatouille. We don't have a date for it yet, but hope we are hoping so much. So tickets are the same price no matter pretty much where you go through. Um, so that is a flat price for your tickets, what you're paying for. But we didn't get Park Hopper, so we saved that. We're just going to Epcot, and then the next day we're going to Magic Kingdom, and we've got a Which breakfast reservation. opens at 9 a.m. It does, and it closes at 9 p.m. I'm going to get to see the castle all lit up. I'm so excited. Again, and then, every time Walt Disney World gets brought up, she talks about that too. I'm so excited. I want to see the castle all lit up. That is my favorite part. So my favorite part at Disneyland is being there at night. 
when all the lights are lit up, when there's like at, at close, when there's like nobody there because everybody's left and it's just quiet and the lights are lit up. So excited. Yeah, I think altogether it's about $1,300 I've spent for these four days, only two in the park because we don't do park days on our travel days because I'm too tired. There's no way. And David's getting, some of his medical conditions are getting worse and he's too tired. All three of us are too and tired then, for that. Well, you're young. You should be able to do it. <laughs> and then we're getting up really early in the morning because we have an early 7 a.m. flight to come back here to Phoenix. Um, and then as soon as we get off the flight, we're going to hop in the car and drive to Anaheim. <laughs> but that's in a different video. So... Last week's, if I remember correctly. All together, all together, the tickets were, I want to say about $800, I want to say. It was like seven, some, it was about $800 of tax. The hotel, again, I think in total, our two hotels that we're going to be in is around $100, $120 maybe. And then the flights are like three hundred altogether. I want to say maybe four hundred. So I think altogether it's been about thirteen hundred dollars that we're gonna spend to real quick run to Walt Disney World, stay off property. Although I don't have yet the cost of what Lyft or Uber rideshare is gonna be to get to the parks because there's no shuttle, but it can't be more than spending. So like the cheapest Walt Disney World hotel is like a hundred bucks a night. We're getting our hotel there for like 30 bucks a night. So it can't be more than 70 bucks a day to go back and forth to Walt Disney World. I don't think, but I guess we'll find out because the lifts that know. we took, the lifts that we took while we were there were max like 20 bucks. So well, that's 40. But that was just to get So that's still from, saving 30 or 40 bucks a day to stay off property. But that was but that was to get from um on property to off property to the Vineland. Right, and then back. Yeah. Um and then one we day to go from, to Hollywood Studios from our hotel. Right. But they were only like 20 bucks. So I can't imagine it's that much. Why and then we'll have to take so that we were there in time to get rides. Oh, right. So, and then we'll have to get a ride share from the airport to the hotel because there's no That's shuttle. Um, so we'll have to report to you how all of that goes. But um, it's, so far, it's looking to be a lot cheaper than it would be just for us going for a couple days staying on property. So that way we can, I can get David to go and we're going to go. It's going to be so much fun just to get out of here for a couple of days, go to Walt Disney World, try some yummy food at Epcot, see the castle all lit up. I'm so excited. Get a couple of sippers. What are you excited for? That's Disneyland. No. Oh, the bee sipper. And the other orange bird. <laughs> and the new orange bird. They have a new orange bird sipper. He's so cute. So. And don't get me wrong, <laughs> last year's was super cute, but he's so is that what you're most excited for is the orange bird supper? And a shake. And, and the shake. And it's finally different. getting my soda! And yeah, she wants a soda from the Japan pavilion. You know, one of the, one of the ones that you have to like punch to, to get it to open? So we're going to do a whole video on Jillian covering herself with soda. <laughs> so, well. so make sure you subscribe so you can see Jillian covering herself with soda. In Japan at Epcot in Walt Disney World when we when we put that up. We might even do that one live. So follow us and make sure you're subscribed. That one's probably gonna be done live. <laughs> and hit that like for us, it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll try to get to them. Have a magical day. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video or go live. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Pinterest. You can support us on our Patreon. We have tiers starting at $1 per month. Thank, Thank you, you for, for all your support. support. If you want to see more, click the video in your right-hand corner.